All right, everybody, it's time for lunch. Got my Uni 3 set up. We're using propane today because we're making a quick lunch and I don't have to worry about dealing with the embers later on. So we've got hooked up to our propane tank. The regulator's hooked up. Propane setup is here. So all we have to do is come down here. We're gonna turn this knob until we hear a click. There's a little lighter piece. We're just gonna hold it there for a second. Here the gas start to flow. And if we come around here, we should see some flames started in our oven. There we go. So this will give you a nice view here. You can see how those flames shoot out. We've got the flame guard in the back, kind of pushes those flames up and they're gonna come up over top of our pizza. And uh, we leave the door off when we're using propane. So we're gonna give this about 10 minutes. Uh, let that pizza stone heat up to about 750, 800 or so degrees right in the middle. And then uh, in the meantime, it's time to go inside and make a pizza. All right, so, <clears throat> all right, so we've got my, my dough here ready. This was in the freezer. I made this a couple, about a week ago. Um, let it sit out overnight, thaw out, get back to room temperature. So we're gonna make our pizza. So we're just gonna, this, for this size, I can probably get about three 13 inch pizzas out of this. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut that there. Like this, throw it into the dough pan. Save that for later. Board, just gonna sprinkle out some flour and start shaking our pizza. I know traditionally people will yell at me for using a rolling pin, but I don't really know how to make pizza, so that's why I'm using a rolling pin. Uh, it helps me get it nice and thin, which is what I like. So I'm just rolling from the middle. So at this point, I want to transfer onto my peel. To do that, I'm going to take some cornmeal just to prevent more flour from getting on my pizza. Put that on there and take the dough. I'm going to put it right up onto that peel. Now this peel is 13 inches, so if anything's hanging over the edge, I know that that's not going to fit in my pizza oven. So I can go ahead and I can cut that off. Yep, a little bit off. All right. So make sure that it's going to slide off of the peel when we go outside. Otherwise, sometimes you get some condensation when you come in from a warm house outside. It's a little cool out. It's about 60 degrees today. And then your pizza will stick, messes up all your toppings, and that's no fun. So I've got, um, this is a old pizza sauce. Um, can, but I've got. <laughs> I'm making video. Yeah, this is some pizza sauce that I made um, last week. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in the middle. Typically, I have a pan. I'm using a big ladle, but this is a lunch pizza. I'm just gonna spin out from the center. I like that pizza. You like this pizza? Mm -hmm. yeah, but I don't so. wanna eat it. You don't wanna eat it today, mm -mm. no. I'm going to get really close to the edge, making sure it's not too heavy in the middle of our pizza, otherwise our will get really heavy and that's no good. Really light, that's good right there. Now one thing, one trick here when I make my own dough, I'm going to poke the edges, prevent those bubble ups.
right, now it's time for some mozzarella cheese. All right, so now we're gonna add some mozzarella cheese. My other helper is crawling into the kitchen. All right, so now we're gonna go transfer this into the oven for about 60 seconds. All right, so our oven's nice and hot. I can feel it from here. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer this pizza into the oven. Hopefully it slides easily for me. We're gonna find out here in a second. There we go. Just like that. We're gonna leave it in there for about 20 seconds. And then we're gonna transfer it back out, spin it, put it back in for about 20 seconds for a total cook time of about one minute. So, as you can see, it cooks really quickly. We get nice brown on our crust. The bottom of the pizza, we want to make sure that that crust is getting nice and brown, crisp enough. That's going to give us the ability to have that kind of hold those slices. Now, my pizzas that I make, I like to make them really, really thin. So, you know, they're not going to be able to hold a whole lot of weight. Those big hunks of mozzarella might be a little bit too much for this pizza today. This is the first time I've used dough and let it, after it sat for a couple days in the freezer. So, all right, just like that, this pizza is just starting to crisp up. Let's go get it inside and transfer it to a, uh, a screen. All right, so what I have, one of these pizza screens, I just slide it off onto that pizza screen. If you notice the peel, you see that moisture that it collects? It's gonna make the bottom of that crust really soft. So we're gonna leave it on this screen for about a minute. Kind of just prop it up like that. And to go off and do whatever else you need, I'm gonna go grab some basil and finish this pizza up. Get some added basil. We are all set to cut this up and enjoy. It's a pretty good pizza right there. check out making some dough uh kind of talk to you about like, what i do um my recipe that i use that i really just found from youtube videos and they kind of tweak it to make it work for me so check out next time Thanks.